Okay, one of the great things about a Mac that I really like is um, the amount of control you have to uh, customize your workspace and the desktops. One thing that you'll uh, that will not be turned on when you get when you get a new Mac is something called um, expose and spaces. To some extent, expose will spaces will not. Spaces is a multiple um, desktop application, and I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to show you where it is. System preferences, expose and spaces. You have to click Enable Spaces, and once you do, you can create up to 16 different um, desktops. I like four. I usually use three or four. I think 16 is a bit much. I like to click uh, Show Spaces in Menu Bar. The menu bar is up here, and that what what what's called Menu Lets. So you can click on that, and you can go go to specific spaces or open this window with um, Open um, Spaces Preference. Now. When you get a Mac home, well, get rid of Safari for a second here. When you get a Mac home, you'll uh, notice that um, Apple lo has loaded up a bunch of different I uh, icons onto the um, onto the dock. One of them is Spaces, so you can get to Spaces by just clicking that. I, I don't like keeping things like Spaces um, on the uh, dock because it takes up it takes up space for other things. What I like to do, and a much faster way to get to it, is using Expose. Now, in the Expose and Spaces, just click on this button here, and what I like to do is activate Hot Corners. Each corner of the screen on a Mac can do something different, and that's where I like to put spaces. So, for I usually use a lower left corner for spaces, so I'm going to choose Spaces from this menu here, and what that'll do is I just move the mouse to the lower left corner, and it'll bring up spaces. Now, once I have that, once I have that going. You can you can move things between spaces. Oh, let's get it back. Click on this, and you can move stuff between spaces. We'll go back down. We'll click on it again, and then there are a bunch of other things you can also do um, to set things up. One of my favorites is um, all windows. We'll set that up. And that's also available with the mouse button four, which is the little the uh, little tabs on the side of the mighty mouse. So you can squeeze it, and it, and it comes up. I'll show you what um, all windows looks like in a minute. Other things you can do is sleep display. I have that one usually set up on, on uh, to to put to put the display to sleep. The dashboard's a popular one. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can just go to, uh, to move the mouse to the corner and get the dashboard down. That's another nice thing. So you don't have to you know keep this um, on your on your dock. So getting back to spaces now that we can get to it, you can also bind certain programs to particular spaces. For example, you just click this button here, and let's say we want to make address book into space one and whenever we click on address book it'll take us to space one I played with um, assigning applications to particular spaces for a little while I didn't really like it all that much but I can see how it may be useful for things like um, binding certain things together like um, iCal and the uh, mail and the address book together or maybe designating a particular space for word or acrobat or or something like that in my view it's not necessarily I don't think it's a great uh, use of time to really play with it all that much because it's just because I, I I didn't get much benefit from it, but you may. So once we bound, once we have uh, assigned space one to address book, I'm gonna click on address book. It'll take us right over to uh, to space one. This is something that gets people a little a little a little freaked out when they click on things. They starts it starts moving things around on them, but you'll get used to it. And I think you'll really like having different ways to move things around and so forth. And if, if I have too many windows going, here's that um, all windows feature. This is what happens is they when you squeeze the all windows, you you it, it flies them out into tiles. Every available uh, window on the screen goes into a tile, and you roll your mouse over and you can see what see what it is. So in this case, if I wanted this back, or if I wanted this back, so that way you can it's a really it's a really fast way to deal with multiple things. At one time, so you can have you know a, ca a couple case going stacked on top of each other, and you just squeeze your mouse or you know assign it to a space, a, a hot corner, in this case the upper left, and you can you can get you can change stuff really quickly. So that's uh, that's a little bit about um, spaces on and uh, expose, and I, I highly recommend you enable spaces, and uh, you may want to play around with the, with the um, assignments. And I definitely think that um, hot corners are, are really good. In the beginning, it'll, it'll be a little weird. Um, 
one of the things you have to get, kind of have to get used to when using a Mac is how how quickly you can get things done and, and how quickly it moves. Um, but once you uh, after a day or two, I think you'll uh, you'll really begin to enjoy it.